Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to The Well, your source for the latest in the field of after school and summer learning programs. I'm here with my friend Morgan Carey. She is from the Dairy Council of California. Hey, what's up, Morgan? Hey, Bruno. How are you today? I'm well, how are you? Good. So Morgan, tell us, what is it that you do with the Dairy Council of California? Um, okay, I am a community nutrition advisor with Dairy Council. Dairy Council is a nutrition education organization, and we've been around for almost 100 years. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's pretty nuts. Um, and we work together to elevate the health of children and parents in California mm -hmm. through the pursuit of lifelong healthy eating habits. Um, and I'm based in Los Angeles, so I support schools in LA County through um, wellness policy work, um, and I provide technical assistance for schools that want to implement smarter lunchroom strategies. Mm -hmm. um, and I sit on the California Local School Wellness Policy Collaborative. Yeah, and that's exactly where I met you. So tell us a little bit about the California Local School Wellness <sighs> Policy Collaborative. It's quite a mouthful. Um, yeah, so the Collaborative is a state-level organization. Um, it started, let's see, California Department of Education and Dairy Council of California came together in 2012. Mm -hmm. And now uh, the Collaborative consists of more than 20 agencies. And we all work together to inspire school communities to bring their wellness policy from paper to practice. And, and why should folks out there in the education uh, community, school districts, after school programs, or anybody out there in general, why should they care about a local school wellness policy for young people? Um, local school wellness policies are really designed to promote student health and well-being. Um, they've definitely evolved and gotten stronger over time. In 2004, in response to the obesity crisis, um, Congress passed the Child Nutrition Reauthorization Act. Um, and this legislation mandated that, that um, school districts not only participate in federal meal programs, but also have a local school wellness policy in place by 2006. Hmm. Um, then in 2010, we have the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act, which mm -hmm. strengthened wellness policies in a number of ways. Um, nutrition promotion was added as a requirement. There were more rigorous nutrition standards. And then in 2016, there was the final rule. Um, it was released um, July of last year, effective August. And um, the main areas for that are really... Um, setting those measurable goals for student wellness. Mm -hmm. um, there's now a requirement for nutrition standards for all foods on campus. Um, there's a requirement for um, food and beverage marketing and leadership, public involvement and notification. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I see out in the communities that I serve when I go visit those schools is that a lot of our students um, are now getting three meals a day at the school site, um, free or reduced price breakfast, free or reduced price lunches uh, in the after school program. If they attend those, they get a, a healthy snack and or meal. And so, and we still see evidence of that sixth grade field trip that's coming up and they continue to sell chocolates or candy at the end of the school day, or perhaps the the street vendor parks themselves outside of the school campus and still sells, you know, junk food to our kids. And so the local school wellness policy can have a, a huge impact in all of the things that happen within the school day and after school programs. So the collaborative was built, right? And so all of these agencies are part of the collaborative. What sort of resources can folks out there find at the California Local School Wellness Policy Collaborative website. Yes, um, I'm glad you asked. So the website is healthyeating.org forward slash CA School Wellness. Mm -hmm. um, we have a ton of resources on our web page. One of our um, the resources that the collaborative created is the 
committee guide, which um, is designed to lead committees through the year. And so this guide contains steps for planning and conducting meetings, um, sample agenda items, a suggested calendar of meetings, and then of course resources. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so in addition to the guide, we have sample action plans on our website. Um, we highlight best practices. Um, we share important updates. Um, we also have a monthly newsletter, um, and you can subscribe to that uh, on our webpage. And then you can also follow us on Twitter at C-A-L-S-W-P. Nice. Morgan, thank you so much for this information. And so what is one book, one resource, one tool that you currently use to move um, you or your work forward? My friend recently lent me a book called Crucial Conversations, mm. um, and I'm sure many people have heard of it before. It was new to me. Um, it's all about how to handle important conversations, um, and it doesn't just apply to work. Um, right. It's a great resource. I love, I, I'm going to purchase it. In addition to that, I mean, I think social media is obviously a great tool. Um, I'm still, there's still so much to learn, but I love it. Um, and I think it's really important for me to uh, do the things that I love, be outdoors, bike, walk, take new classes, or take classes, try new things, meet new people. Um, and the last uh, thing that really keeps me going, I guess, is um, listening to podcasts. I listen to so many podcasts, um, and it ranges from comedy podcasts to political podcasts, but I think when, um, when I really think about it, my favorite ones are storytelling podcasts, mm. and I think it um, just goes to show how much um, we learn from, from others, and, and we love to hear about the work that others are doing and how they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, so Morgan, the reason why I love speaking to you all the time is because you actually practice what you preach. What a noble concept, yeah. right? Um, and so that's fantastic. Thank you so much for today. I will be linking all of the, um, the descriptions and the website and then the social media access, all of that in the description below. So just be looking for that. And I will definitely also link Crucial Conversations, a book that Morgan um, okay quite enjoys. Um, and so I will definitely be linking all of that in the description below. Morgan, thank you so much. Until next time. Thank you, Bruno.